In one small American town, the forces of traditional religion and modern science would clash in a battle heard round the world. Here in Dayton, Tennessee, in the summer of 1925, one of the century's most famous courtroom battles would take place. John T. Scopes stood accused of teaching Darwin's theory of evolution, that man and ape shared a common ancestor. That was against the law in Tennessee. The Scopes trial attracted the best legal brains of the time. William Jennings Bryan, three times presidential candidate and a Christian fundamentalist himself, came to prosecute. Clarence Darrow, the celebrated Chicago trial lawyer, came to defend Scopes. Outside, as the trial progressed in the scorching summer heat, Dayton had itself a carnival. People would bring in trained chimpanzees dressed in suits and ties, and they'd lead them up and down the streets. Read your Bible was everywhere in town, posted up on the street, across the street, banners. And you walk maybe 100 yards this way, and you'd have a street preacher. I didn't know what he was preaching about. And you never saw the same people twice. You'd go to the same place next next day, there'd be some other people from some other part of the United States there. But it was, it was a lot of hoopla. I enjoyed it. The Scopes trial became emblematic. Everybody had to make up their mind. People who'd never been to Tennessee, couldn't even find Tennessee, had to think about this question. Do I believe in modern science? At times, it seemed that the whole world had converged on Dayton. The aisles were filled and the walls were lined with newspaper people from England, from Spain, from France. We had so many newspaper people there that, that you couldn't stir them with a stick. When all the hoopla ended, John T. Scopes was found guilty and fined $100 a ruling later overturned on a technicality. What Scopes represented and what the world came to witness was a colossal clash of ideals. The cool reason of science seemed to threaten the deep and abiding roots of religion. It was one thing to replace the family mule with a Model T, but quite another to trade Matthew, Mark, and John for Einstein, Freud, and Darwin. For many people, these were confusing times. <laughs> 